How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and today we're going to be going over your hard drive and how you can save space on it. Now the obvious answer to this question is just buy a different hard drive, buy a bigger hard drive, they're super cheap these days. But obviously that's not an option for you because you click this video. So either one, you can't afford it, which I understand that came from there. Uh, definitely had options where I just had to work with what I had. Or two, maybe you have a device like this where you physically cannot. You would have to desolder the hard drive that's in the device after breaking it open and hopefully not damaging anything. And then from there, I mean, it's just a mess. So we're gonna go over some stuff that is purely software driven and stuff you can do on your computer right now. So let's get to it. All right, first thing we're gonna do here is go to your recycle bin and go to the properties. Now sure, you can empty it right there as well. That'll save some space. But what you wanna do is limit it. So first select which drive you wanna limit the storage on because each drive is going to have its own folder that acts as its recycle bin and you can limit exactly how much this takes up because this is a reserved memory just for your cycle bin. So if you put 10 gigs there, your computer is not gonna use that 10 gigs. It's gonna reserve it for your recycle bin which basically just acts as a folder on your computer for data that you recently deleted. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to go and download CCleaner. I'll have it in the description and you can run this, but that is not the purpose we're gonna be using this for. You wanna to go to tools and use the duplicate finder. So the duplicate finder here, you can select which drive you wanna use it on. We'll actually search the drive for files that are exactly the same. So exactly the same file name that maybe you just have two or more pictures or videos stored on different spots in your computer that you can get rid of and maybe just make a shortcut there instead and save some space there. And next up we have going to your system restore point. So your computer will automatically make these backup restore points just in case something goes haywire and you need to restart your computer and kind of link up at an older date. Um, so if you type in restore here and go to configure, uh, you can actually limit the amount of space that it uses for this, or you can just turn it off completely. So you see over there on my OSC, it says protection is on. I could turn that off, but obviously I don't have a space issue right now, so I'm not gonna do that. But you can choose exactly how much you want it to use. And that is gonna vary just based on how safe you wanna be and how much room on your hard drive you wanna give your OS to create these restore points. All right, so next up on the list we have here, just go over to your My Computer, click on one of your hard drives, the one ideally that you need space saved on, uh, right click it and go over to the property section. And then once you're in the property section, you can go over to disk cleanup in the bottom there and just run that real quick. You can see really quickly on the side what it's going to be doing. So if you find a drive that has a bunch of like cached files or something, uh, you can see exactly right there at the total amount of disk space you gain. Um, and you can just quickly run that and it'll kind of clear out some temporary files in your computer. And lastly on the list here we have is using Google actually. Uh, so every Google account comes with a free 15 gigabytes of storage that they let you put on their cloud. So if you do have files on your computer that are just sitting there and you don't access too often I would say, or at least you don't need to access on the day to day, they're just like videos or pictures or something just taking up a chunk of your space, go ahead and you can just throw those on the cloud and delete them off your computer so you can save up to those 15 gigs of storage if you had a ton of video or a ton of photos on there. And that is pretty much it. These are just five quick tips to help you kind of alleviate some of the storage if you're having issues on one of your hard drives that you just can't replace or just don't have enough money for at this time. Otherwise, if you guys have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I do like to respond to as many as I can, pretty much all of them as long as I understand them. <laughs> uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.